Adam, peace be upon him, as we know his story, and we're not going to go through that. You all know that Allah told him, do not eat from that forbidden tree. He disobeyed Allah Azza wa Jal, and he went astray to error, and he ate from it, and you know what had happened. So, what can we learn from the legacy of Adam? First of all, we can learn from it that even those who are great, even those who are prominent, even those who are high can fall, can sin. So point one, do messengers sin? The answer is yes. Do they make major sins? The answer is definitely no. Not a single messenger does major sins. Do they make minor sins? It's an issue of dispute and the most authentic opinion that they do. Because this was mentioned in Surah Taha. In black and white, Allah says, فَوَعَصَى آدَمُ رَبَّهُ فَغَوَى And Adam disobeyed his Lord and he strayed into error. So this is mentioned. Allah is the one who told us that Adam sinned. And not only that, Allah mentioned in Surah Al-Qasas, where Musa, when Musa knocked that Coptic down with one blow. Mashallah, he was not MMA uh, 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 professional. It just, that's it, he's gone. His history. So he said, oh Allah, I have wronged myself severely and I repent to, and I ask and seek your forgiveness, so forgive me. And Allah forgave him. Yunus, when he was swallowed by the whale, what was the thing that made Allah Azza wa Jal rescue him? What was the thing that he said that the Prophet told us السلام, whenever there is a calamity that befalls upon you, say the word and Allah Azza wa Jal will relieve you. And whenever you're depressed, say the word and Allah Azza wa Jal would relieve you. And whenever you supplicate, say the word and Allah Azza wa Jal would answer you. What is this beautiful word? La ilaha illa anta subhanak inni kuntu min al What beautiful admission. What beautiful confession. I'm not saying, get me out of the whale. It's dark. I can't see. I can't breathe. He didn't say that. He knows that Allah knows what's happening. In humility, in submissiveness, there is no God worthy of being worshipped but, but you. I acknowledge this. And I acknowledge that I have been among the wrongdoers. So, lesson number two. The most important thing for us to learn from the legacy of Adam is that you confess your guilt. The majority of us sin right, left and center. And when someone tells you, Akhi, ask Allah for forgiveness, repent to Allah, this is haram. What's haram? I don't kill, I don't drink, I don't play, I gamble, I don't steal, I don't uh, fornicate. Alhamdulillah, I don't have any sins. What should I confess of? We have a problem. Because each and every individual has a sin or more. The Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, kullu bani adam khatta. The majority, every, not the majority, every single son of Adam is, a, is sinful. And the best of sin, of those who are sinful, those who repent. So the first 